Dear friend, namaste, and that's from Nikwe from my center at Goa right now. And here I shall be talking to you about how to overcome negativities in life. Now let me tell you, whenever we face a very unusual situation or something really bad happens in our life, for example, if someone is diagnosed with cancer or someone has really got stuck up in something really, really bad, the very first thing which comes in their mind is denial. That, well, I cannot get cancer. Well, this thing could not have happened to me. Well, I completely deny. This thing just cannot happen to me. I cannot get cardiovascular disease. I cannot get a problem with the kidneys. I cannot get this dreaded disease. So the first thing is what? Denial. Once the person overcomes denial, the second stage which a person goes through is anger. Well, why did I get it? What wrong have I done? Why did I get this problem? What wrong have I done? I should not have got it. People of my age, they are perfectly normal. Nothing is happening to them. They're having a great time. They have a beautiful life. But why did I get this at such a young age? Oh, at whatever age, let me tell you, whatever age a person gets something, he or she definitely gets into a state of anger that why did I get it? So that is stage number two. Now once that person overcomes anger, the third stage is sympathy. The person starts sympathizing with his or herself. Starts saying, oh, I am the, uh, I'm really sympathizing with myself. Why did I get it? Uh, there are people who are having a great time in their life and I'm sympathizing with myself. It's self-pity. And let me tell you, friends, never ever sympathize with yourself because this is the worst thing in the world you could do to yourself. I remember when I got cancer the third time, doctors in India had told me that, well, Mr. Roy, you just have one month to go. So that time I was like 32 years of age and I started sympathizing. I started telling myself, well, Oh, well, I've got so many things in my life, but I just have one month to go. So I started sympathizing with myself. But then I realized that there's no point sympathizing. Let me do something about it. Let me do the very best what I can. So you need to overcome this stage of sympathizing with yourself. The fourth is acceptance. That people accept that this is their position and we've got to do something about it. We've got to work towards it. So acceptance is a very important stage in one's life. And fifthly, the last stage is strategy. You make a strategy how to overcome your problems, how to come out as a winner, how to plan your life better, how to do the best with what you have, how to make a lemonade out of lemons. It's, uh, you know the uh, uh, very famous proverb which says, when life gives you lemons, make a lemonade. I remember a very important saying what I used to point out to myself when I was suffering from cancer. And that was by a very renowned author known as Josh Billings. And he said, life consists not in holding good cards, but in playing those you hold well. So friends, what I want to emphasize here is that whenever you encounter a very unusual situation or something really bad comes in your life, just forget the stage of denial, anger, and sympathy. Straight away, just pounce upon the problem. Say acceptance and make a plan. Make your strategies how to overcome your problems. So whenever negativities, whenever you're encountered by negativities in your life, just skip the stage of denial. Skip the stage of anger. Skip the stage of sympathy. You have a problem, straight away go for acceptance and then go for a strategy, a plan to get out of the problem. And that is very important if you want to come out as a winner. Friends, let me tell you, I suffered from cancer three times. And when I got the cancer the third time, the cure rate was not even 1%. I got my research treatment done in the U.S., but then I came down back to India. Even after the research treatment, the doctors in the U.S. said the cancer will definitely come back within the next six months. And after getting the research treatment, I came down back to India and I got involved in pranayama, food therapy and meditation and today it's been over 19 years, the cancer never came back. 
I had a plan for my life. I had a plan that I'm going to get involved wholeheartedly in pranayama food therapy meditation and God helped me come out as a winner. So what I'm trying to tell you here friends is that whenever you are encountering, whenever you have encountered a very big problem in your life, just never get into the phase of denial or anger or sympathy. Straight away accept your position and make a strategy how to overcome it. Friends, I have over 2,000 videos on YouTube. You can check me out over there. It's youtube.com slash Ramnikwik. And if you want to get in touch with me, you can directly send a WhatsApp or you can directly get in touch with me. My center's numbers are 9910178140 and 9810178140. You can also log into my website, which is www.ramnikwik.com. So thank you, friends. Now you got to make a resolution that you're going to overcome your problems, you're never going to deny, you're never going to get into a state of anger, you're never going to sympathize with yourself, you straight away accept the problem and make a strategy how to overcome your problems. And believe me, have complete faith in God and with God's help everything is possible in this world. So namaste friends, do take care, have a nice day ahead and that's from Nikwik signing off from Goa.